Hey guys, I'm Scythian, and today we're talking about Alki Labs. They're building a protocol called the Alkiverse, which is the world's first and only interoperable spatial protocol, allowing completely separate apps to cohabitate in the same virtual space in real time. This project is backed by Vespertine Capital. They support and partner with early stage high quality innovative projects that strive to solve real world challenges with blockchain technology. In this video, we have so much to talk about, especially why this tech is so important and what it can do for the world. Where do I even get started? Of all the projects I've looked at over the past few years before I decided to start making videos, I've seen a lot of great ones in and out of crypto that will accomplish great things, but Alki just blows pretty much everything away. What these guys are doing is, is amazing. It's massive and beautifully ambitious and they've got the knowledge and the passion to pull it off. Not many projects have the level of passion and skills needed, but I truly believe this team does. If all goes according to plan, the Alkiverse protocol will replace the GPS as the default positioning protocol and allow for more precise spatial interactions. This can remap our world. The benefits of this are freaking beyond phenomenal. I normally take a more formal approach to videos and I'm always honest and truthful, but I can't be more real about this one, like how serious I am about this. We will get formal here after the intro, but uh, I just need you guys to know how big, how big I think this project is. Alright, well, let's jump into it. As usual, just a quick reminder, this is not financial advice and you should always do your own research. The Alkiverse is a protocol and infrastructure for shared augmented reality experiences that projects can build on top of to take advantage of some pretty great features. Apps connected to the Alkiverse become interoperable with each other. This means any inhabitants, creations, or any other assets involved can be seen across all connected apps, allowing for a true metaverse experience. In its current form, AR is not very social. Most experiences are unique to the individual user and cannot be shared in real time with other individuals. This is due to a few key limitations. Current AR takes about 20 to 60 seconds to calibrate for multiplayer sessions based on the surroundings, and often does not take into consideration new players entering the area. Even the leading provider of shared AR experiences, Niantic, only supports a maximum of 8 participants who all must join at the same time due to tech restrictions. Another big limitation is the lack of embodiment. Without gesture and body tracking, you are unable to interact with objects in the virtual world, forcing you to rely on interaction through digital interfaces. Pair that with the fact that every AR experience is independent and requires you to use multiple apps or platforms, and you're left with a pretty underwhelming AR experience. This is where Alki comes in. They have developed the world's first instant calibration for shared AR. There is no load time, and assets can seamlessly interact with each other. I can't express enough how difficult instant calibration is. Billion dollar companies are still struggling to solve it. Alki has also made progress on real-time 3D hand tracking. This 3D reconstruction of your hand will allow for a truly precise and immersive experience. We are only at the beginning of AR, what Alki refers to as the handheld era, with humanity just starting to test the edges of the wearable era, but that's likely still a few years away. Needless to say, the already $20 billion AR industry is expected to be a trillion dollar industry within the next 10 to 15 years. Here's a fun back of the napkin calculation. If 15 years from now people spend as much time in AR as they do on social media today, which currently 4.5 billion people spend around 820 hours each per year, and they spend as much connecting to the AR metaverse as the average American spends connecting to the internet today, that average being $2 or so per day, then AR metaverse connection fees alone would be over $3 trillion per year. That's absolutely insane how valuable the AR business is going to be. In order for us to progress into the wearable and eventually the integrated eras, 
we need to solve a major key issue, and that is spatial computing. The current problem lies with GPS. In order for a worldwide AR to function correctly, electronic devices need to understand their global position and orientation within a few millimeters precision. With GPS, we are only able to achieve on average a 3 to 5 meter accuracy rate, and it requires line of sight, so it does not work indoors, and it never will. Because of that, this number is much worse in densely populated cities due to large buildings reflecting and or blocking the satellite signals. Each year, top tech companies spend billions of dollars with the goal of recreating a one-to-one -one digital copy of the world, so that devices can try to recognize their position in the world relative to the digital copy using computer vision. A wildly ambitious goal to achieve without both convincing the general public to provide the indoor scans needed to create this completed map, as well as having the amount of participants this task requires. And this is where Aoki swoops in to solve what all others are scratching their heads at looking for an answer. Aoki is developing a method for mapping the world through the use of a shared neospatial coordinate system, where participants' electronic devices position themselves relative to each other instead of relative to the world. After being connected to the Aoki network, devices are able to exchange real-time SLAM position data. SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. Users will earn Aoki tokens as a reward for mapping out the digital twin of our world, as well as validating previous measurements to ensure that they are accurate and up-to-date. After all, the old saying goes, measure twice, cut, or in our case, render once. <laughs> you get what I mean. To ensure true accuracy, consumers and businesses will be able to purchase and own Alkiverse Lighthouse NFTs, a physical calibration marker that serves as an absolute reference point, which assists in calibration and earns passive rewards when they are used by other participants. Expanding a bit more on the Aoki token, applications connected to the Aokiverse have to pay for usage using the Aoki utility token, and this cost can either be borne by the app or the users themselves. The token will be used to join the network, pay for infrastructure usage, calibration, content, and protocol maintenance. And you'll be able to earn Aoki tokens by assisting in the operation and or mapping of the Aokiverse. Participants and apps also have to stake the tokens into a reputation system that allows the protocol to punish bad actors. If you'd like to learn more about Aoki, check out the Aokiverse Black Paper, their website, and or join their Discord. Links in the description down below. Let me know in the comments what you think of Aoki and their revolutionary tech. I am insanely, insanely excited for Aoki's future, and I can't wait to see what they achieve. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more crypto content. Also, be sure to keep an eye out for the next big gem backed by Vespertine. Thanks for watching. I'm Scythian, and I'll see you in the next video.